Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we will see how we can write a C program to implement the guess the number program where the program will have a number and the user has to guess that number. Now here, first the program will say, I have a number in mind, can you guess it? And the user has to guess that number. If the user guesses that number correctly, then the program will say, yes, you got the number. Else the program will say, uh, the number you have entered is smaller or it is larger like that. Now um, here I have written some code. I have included the stdio.hr file. Then I have written the main function. The first thing that we do is we will declare the variables that we need for this program. The program will have a number in its mind. So to store that value, we need a variable and also the user has to enter a number. So for that also we need a variable. I'm going to take integer type of variables and I'm going to say my num for the variable name and this variable will get the number that the program will uh, create and then we need the user num variable where uh, we will store the number entered by the user now for the time being i'm going to initialize my num variable with a value of let us say six so this will be the number that the program will have in its mind now after that i'm going to use the printf function and I'm going to display some message and here I'm going to say I have a number in my mind. Can you guess it? And after that, we will ask the user to enter the guess. So I'm going to use the printer function again. And here I'm going to say enter your guess. Okay. Now the user will uh, enter his guess. So we have to read that value. I'm going to use this kind of function and uh, the number will be an integer value and we will store that in the user num variable. Okay. Now we have the number that the program has uh, in its mind in this my num variable. And also we have the guess entered by the user in this user num variable. So now we can check for these two numbers and we can uh, say whether the user has guessed the number correctly or not. So here we will use the if conditional statement and the condition here will be if my num is equal to user num then it means that the user has guessed the number correctly. So I'm going to use the printf function and I'm going to say you're right. Now if the number the program has in its mind is greater than the guess entered by the user. That is, if my num is containing a value which is greater than user num, then we will display some message. For example, uh, saying that my number is greater than, and then we will display the number or the guess entered by the user. So it, we will say user num. For example, here the program has number six in its mind. If the user is going to enter the number, let us say three, then the program will say my number is greater than three. And uh, that will give some hint to the user. Now else, now here uh, we come to the else part when this number entered by the user as a guess is not equal to the number that the program has in its mind and also the number entered by the user is smaller than the number the program has in its mind. So if you come to the else part, then we have to display that my number is smaller than the number you have entered. If it is confusing, don't worry. Uh, just look at the logic. So if the my num variable is containing a value greater than user num, then we will say my number is greater than uh, your number. Else we will say my number is smaller than your number. Okay. Now here before running this program, let's make sure that everything is proper. Okay. With this scanf function, I have made a mistake and that is we need to use this address of operator. I don't know why I make this mistake. Um, that's the one mistake that I have made here. So I have to correct that. And after that, I'm going to run this program. And now it says I have a number in my mind. Can you guess it? I'm going to say nine. It says my number is smaller than nine. That's because the number that the program has in its mind is six. So now I'm going to run it one more time and I'm going to say three. Okay. My number is greater than three because six is greater than three. 
Now if I run this program one more time and if I enter 6, it says you're right. Now here, if you look at this, program is working fine but the problem is if the user don't guess the number right, then he has only one option to guess that number or uh, one chance to guess that number. So what I want to do is I want to modify this program so that user gets multiple chances for guessing the number, you know, if he is wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this code in a loop. So I'm going to use the while loop in here and I'm going to make this an infinite while loop. So this while loop will run forever. And here I'm going to format this code so that it can look pretty and here we will end the while loop okay now this is an infinite while loop so this code will run forever now in this program we will terminate this while loop when the user has the correct guess so when the user enters a number which is equal to the number that the program has in its mind which is uh, which is equal to the value present in this minum variable then uh, we will say yes you are right and we will stop the while loop so now this program will give multiple chances for the user to guess the number before running this program i want to modify this messages that, that uh, we are displaying uh, we will say my number is greater than or smaller than the number that you have entered and we will say try again because now the user has another chance and also we will add a couple of new lines in here so that the output can look pretty so i'm going to copy and paste this here also okay now i'm going to save the program run this i have a number in my mind can you guess it uh, enter your guess i'm going to say seven it says my number is smaller than seven try again now I can guess again so I have another chance now I know that the number is smaller than 7 so maybe it is 3 number is greater than 3 so I can say 6 directly because I know it is 6 so now we can um, enter 6 and the program terminates and the while loop terminates here now here you know while displaying this option we can say uh, the number is between 0 and uh, 9 that will be easy for the user to guess otherwise you know he can enter 1235 or something like that okay now one more modification that i want to make to this program is this uh, number that the program has in its mind is always six because i'm manually specifying that here i want to make it a random number so for every run this number should contain a different number so to do that, I'm going to use the random number here. And if you don't know about how you can generate a random number in C programming language, then I have already made a specific video explained everything in details. So if you want, you can watch that video and you can learn how to generate the random number. Now here, I'm not going to explain that part. I'm going to just use that code. We need to include a couple of header files. One is the stdlib standard library dot h and uh, this header file allows us to use a function called as rand which will generate a random number and also to make sure that we generate different random number for different runs we need to provide something called as a seed or we need to initialize the random number generator with different value now I have explained everything about this in the video about the random numbers. So if you don't know about it, then you can watch that video. So what we do is we will initialize the random number generator or we provide the seed as the number of second elapsed since 1970 January 1. And we can get that by using a function called as time. And that function is available to us if we include time.h header file. So here we initialize the random number generator using srand function and here we need to call time function and we need to pass in the value null now here uh, we have the random number generated and this number has to be between 0 and 9 so what i'm going to do is whatever the random number generated i'm going to divide that by 
10 and I want to get the reminder value. So here I'm making sure that the number that we get for this minum variable will be a random number and it will be in between 0 and 9. Now if you want the source code of this tutorial then you guys can visit my website. Uh, I'm gonna put the link in the description box. Now I'm gonna save this program and I'm gonna run this. I have a number in my mind. Uh, can you guess it? I'm gonna say my guess is like 4. It says uh, my number is greater than 4. Try again. So let us say 8. Number is smaller than 8. So I now I know it is greater than 4 and smaller than 8. Maybe 6. Yes, I'm right. So I'm gonna close it. And I'm gonna run it one more time. Now um, let us say 7 greater than 7 so 9 smaller than 9 greater than 7 so it is 8 okay so now here you guys can see for every run the number generated is a different number and we have multiple chances so this is it guys for this video thank you for watching if you like it hit the like button if you don't like it hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video